Ian Scott Wells. Let's hear it. My name is Scott Wells, and I'm a paradoxologist. So, what's a paradoxologist, I hear you say? Ah, you see, you just answered my question. A paradoxologist is someone who studies paradoxes, that is, the strange, the unusual, and anticipates perceptions. In other words, I put my hand to my ear, and you guys responded, what's a paradoxologist? I'd like to introduce you here to the mother of my children. Please welcome Kathy. By the way, you're all invited, invited to our wedding next Saturday. And so, <laughs> so actually, we've been married for 33 years, I believe. 30, thank you. Seems like 33 minutes, you know. <laughs> Underwater. <laughs> We're going to try something just a little bit different here this afternoon, using Kathy and your thoughts. Kathy has over here then a uh, blindfold, the kind of thing that uh, some ladies might wear at night. Then, sir, you can kind of see there's uh, a way of seeing in or out of that. Yes? Correct? Yep. Okay. I've also got a, a book over here. Now, this is an interesting classical book, a uh, book of, uh, by Brian Stoker. This is Dracula. I'm going to pass this around, let a few people kind of look through this then as well. Uh, sir, let me hand this back over to you. Take a look through that. Just pass it around, let everybody see it. You pass around this. Uh, uh, book and I believe it's going to different places. Sir, you have that. Would you open that to the last page and please notice how many pages are in the book and would you please say that out loud? 439. 439. Would you please, sir, point to someone and I want them to please just name a number, 1 through 439. I'm not going to select them. You select the next person to just give us a number. What's the page number? Page 10. Page 10. Sir, would you open that to page 10? Have you got it? I want you to kind of scan across the page there just a minute. You're kind of looking at uh, the story a little bit. You don't have time to read the whole thing. But I want you, sir, just to focus in on the first word on that page. Have you got it? Close the book. Hand it back down toward the front. And I want you to stand, please. So that way we can see it. Perfect right there, sir. That's, you're doing great. Just continue to hand that up. Yes, sir, if you bring it to me. You have then a word in mind, the very first word that was on there. Concentrate on that. Look at me. I'll see if I can pick this up and be a thought transmitter to Kathy. Kathy, can you pick up this word? This is a long word. Um, I hope you're not too disappointed. But the word is disappointing. Is that right? Is that correct? The word disappointing? Yes? Yes. About that. <laughs> now let's go a step further. Ma'am, since he selected you, I want you to select somebody else. We're going to try one more experiment. Have you got some money on you? <laughs> All we need is a dollar bill, five, ten, twenty, fifty, hundred thousand. What kind of a money, what kind of bill do you got? I've got a magnifying glass over here to help you. Norman, it's funnier with a hundred. <laughs> Always funnier with a hundred. PJ's right. What have you got there? Ah, perfect. All right, now we want you to hold it. There we go. I see you have on glasses, but this way, so this way we can see this over here. We're going to look at the, the serial number over here. Let's focus on these numbers. Find that place in your mind where it's very quiet. No. Um, image of a number. That's right. That's right. Which is a three. Uh-huh, yes. Which is a four. Yes. A one. Uh-huh. A two. Uh-huh, yes. Another four. Right, yes. A seven. Okay. Another seven. No, That's I'm sorry, it's a zero. Zero. That's right. That's right. A nine. Nope. Um, think harder. <laughs> oh, this is a three. Is that right? My wife has gotten them all correct. Is that right? Those of us, is that right? <laughs> Very good. Let's give her a round of applause. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Right. I, I heard what you said there, sir, but also there were some letters as well. Uh, you'll notice there's a first and the last letter. What were the two letters? Can you tell this gentleman what the letters are? The first one is an F. 
And the second is an M. Is that correct, sir? Let's give her a big round of applause. How about that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for your thoughts. I want to leave you one from me. Thank you very much. This is Kathy. I'm Scott. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.